Just play the anthem. It's the, it's the Champions League final. Yes, 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 my friends. Yes, it is. And it's a day that I'm very much looking forward to as it's our chance to knock off the biggest club competition in the world. Now, of course, in the last Glory Hunter, spoilers, we did it in season one. We are quite a few seasons into my managerial career now, and we still haven't knocked it off. Of course, dispatching of Bayern Munich in the last episode. Hopefully, you've already seen it. We now play Real Madrid today. That is a team that is one of the toughest teams to play in this competition. They've already beaten league champions as I can officially announce we didn't end up clawing it back uh, Mobile and Arsenal are too good this year 90 points in many seasons would have won it for you but not this time around in fact let's just check that quickly would we have won it in previous years uh, wouldn't have won it last year or the year before that but would have won it the year before that you can see a few seasons in a row well 84 points was uh, was the target for a long time so 90 points will sometimes get it done but it will not get it done this time around ourselves and Arsenal are way above the two teams in Manchester Chelsea and Tottenham in 5th and 6th and then look at 7th there there. Brentford have made their way in. Burnley, Sheffield United and West Brom have been relegated to the Championship. The team's coming up next year, of course, that we will face uh, one of either Forest or Reading against West Ham, who return to the Premier League and Fulham. So two sides that are used to Premier League action. Um, Norwich, what's happening? It's normally you. Anyway, then, let's get into this game versus Real Madrid. Our run to the final has been... Well, let's, let's, let's showcase it in a slightly cooler way. Where's everything... Where did everybody go? Okay, sorry, there we go. Uh, Champions Cup. You can see there then, that's the way I like it. Ha, 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 I like it. You can see there, Real Madrid uh, to come. But Bayern Munich before that, Manchester United sporting, and then a group of Shakhtar, Zebra, and Young Boys. It was quite... Quite a simple, straightforward task to get here. Is that... Am I underselling it a little bit? Who knows? Of course, Real Madrid on the reverse of this then. The second best team in Spain this season as Barcelona pipped them to the title. Uh, had to win on the final day to Barcelona and did so pretty comfortably. Real Madrid, tra uh, Real Madrid tracing, chasing the entire time. Um, I'm, just, I'm just curious, actually. Did they have to play? Oh, actually, no, it wasn't. Barcelona did have to win on the final day and Madrid won as well, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, so there we are then. Can we beat the second best team in Spain? That's what we're going to have to find out. Was Edward with 28 goals last year? Um, sensational. Oh, Victor Velasco. There he is, my boy. He is arguably the best regen in the save right now. But I'll tell you who's a feisty man when it comes to that competition. El Ezequiel Alfonso, who is the guy. And the guy today, I think, will be the difference maker in the game against Real Madrid. The team then for this game... It's pretty much as you'd expect as we get some extra spots on the bench for a final. You'd have to see it. Uh, Luis Diaz. Oh, you see, I've just realised we were playing this system towards the end of the season. And am I going to go with it again after it was very successful against Bayern? And am I going to let it take me through to future games? Of course, the changes we would make here is that Luis Diaz would fill in as the, the shadow striker. Uh, Harvey Elliott would come in on the left-hand side as the advanced playmaker. And everyone else would, would remain the same. Do I want to try it in the first half? It's quite easy to slip out of, right? The, the wing backs go back. Diaz comes across and they swap with Elliot. So it's not too far away. I think we surprise them a little bit with this bad boy. And we see if they can handle basically Erling Haaland. This is Real Madrid versus Erling Haaland. And, you know, he's 26. He probably wants to win this competition. Let's make sure we do it now, shall we? Let's do it right now. <sighs> These are the moments that in Glory Hunter mean the most there's no room for slip-ups here we have to have i just said don't let this slip in, in context of a big game for liverpool probably a mistake uh you, you can't let these sorts of opportunities just slide by basically and disappear and have opportunities to win this and then and not take them of course I'm sure you can remember it. I know I can. We've, uh, if I'm not mistaken, right, we were in the final, right, with Milan. It feels like it's such a long time ago now. As uh, I'm trying to negotiate my way there, <laughs> I guess we'll go to, we'll go to. What am I doing, Real Madrid? I'm very nervous, viewers. I don't know if that's obvious, but I could, I could feel it in my hands. Uh, Real Madrid a couple of years ago. Um, was this was that the past winner when Milan were the runners up? Yes, we didn't win. You can see there, Liverpool. Wow, I didn't realise that. Runners up against PSG. Runners up against Manchester City. Runners up against Manchester United. And uh, well, I now feel even more pressure, especially as a Liverpool fan. Don't forget. So I mean. This has got to be their time, right? Three times the bridesmaids in the last six years. And now I have the opportunity with my silly little tactic <laughs> to, try and, to try and oust Real Madrid. 
Uh, you can see their side there then. Are they going to play Rattray up front? Are they really going to play Alistair Rattray up front? I mean, he's fast, but he's, I mean, he's basically Darwin Nunes. That's what they're working with. Alisson in goal, then Skriniar van Dijk, Trent and Robertson, Fabinho at half-back. Alfonso just played just ahead with Casado next to him. Diaz, Elliot, Haaland, and the bench is as strong as it can be. We are injury-free right now. A few players struggling for fitness, but again, they're not starters normally. As here we go then, I'm entrusting Diaz and Harvey Elliott to be the supply line to the big man up front. Erling Haaland, this is your moment against a very capable, very strong uh, Real Madrid side. But the way in which we dispatched of Bayern in that second leg, the way in which we performed in this league season, I'm expecting big things. Haaland is the, is the guy though. He loves scoring in this competition, but I need him to score in the final. And big games sometimes aren't always... Harlan's favourite thing, as much as you think it might be. And again, I guess he's got a hat-trick in the semi-final of the Champions League, so maybe that's waffle, but there's been some crucial games against big domestic sides that he's not quite done the business in. So here we go. Liverpool versus Real Madrid. We are 7 minutes 45 seconds in as it ticks over. And can Haaland, my boy, do the business up front as Elliot might try and find him very early on. There's Erling Haaland, and there's a big old chance. Saved well by Courtois. And we're, we've got a corner almost immediately in the game. You can see Haaland sort of lingering out front post. He goes up with Casemiro, cleared away. Fabinho on the volley. Van Dijk, oh my word, I thought Fabinho was shooting. Flipping heck, that was nearly the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen in your whole lives, viewers. Uh, still nil nil. 15 minutes gone. We'll encourage our boys as it's level right now. Seems like the smart thing to do. And you can see they reacted brilliantly to that too. Um, keep a look, an eye on the heat map as well. It's, it's basically a 4-3-3. We're just offsetting Diaz behind Haaland to give him that little bit of extra help. As we may aim for Haaland again here. You can see him at the front post. We'll highlight him. There he is. Fabian clears it away this time. Out to Fabinho. The two fabs. Zandy Robertson goes for goal. Oh my god, it's gone in! Oh my goodness me! It was speculative at best. Timo Courtois... How he's not done more there to keep that out, I don't know. And the most unlikely of sources. That might be his first goal of the season. Andy Robertson, it's cleared away. You can see him here on this right side. He doesn't, does he even hit it first time? No, takes a touch and just goes for it. It goes under the arms of Courtois. It's a dreadful error from Courtois. It has to be said, as I kind of want to check to see how many goals has Andy Robertson scored this year? Uh, one in the league, and that was the only goal he scored throughout this entire season. The most unlikely of goal scorers as Alfonso finds Harvey Elliott. And it's those runs from Haaland we're looking for. Is there's Andy Robertson trying to do some normal left back play. And he's cocked it up and Rattray's in on goal and goes for goal and it hits the post. And and Skriniar wrestles it away. Wrestles it, wrestles it, gets it away. 35 minutes gone then. We do lead. The Champions League might be about to be knocked off. Oh, crumbs. Okay, Andy Robertson racing forward once again as he just plays that ball inside to Harvey Elliott. Four towards Haaland. Oh my God, I think he's offside. Wow! Whether he's offside or not, you've played enough football manager watching this, I imagine. That sort of strike is pretty flipping rare. God, I can't quite believe he's hit it. The goal's been disallowed. I kind of want to see it again, though. That was absolutely monstrous from Erling Haaland. Harvey Elliott flicks it over. He's just, is he just outside the area as he hits it? He's just inside. The volley there. Unleashed on goal. Just offside. Five minutes to go in the half, then. We'll praise the boys. We've looked brilliant, by the way. Madrid. Are they even here? One nil at half time. It's going to have to be... I won't call it a bottle job. It's going to have to be quite the collapse for us here to bin this off. As uh, so far, delighted with the performance. It's been really good, actually. I think the only issue we're having currently is that the playmaking of both of these two is being hindered a little bit. So Mazala support for Alfonso. We're going to change that up just a little bit and everything else is going to remain the same. Harvey Elliott, definitely from what we've seen from the highlights so far, is the creative force in this team. And Alfonso's performance so far, again, affected by that, I think, not being the main man from the creative standpoint. Something we're going to have to think about, of course, moving forward as well, because with that 20 passing, you kind of want him to be the guy that's creating everything. As uh, you can see there, some nice possession from us. Really difficult to get near us right now. Trent, acres of space to run into. As there's Alfonso now as the Mazala getting forward a little bit more he might go for goal himself he does go for goal himself and Courtois again not convincingly gathers the ball into both hands wow this so far has been very enjoyable and now we're gone I'm going to praise them further not a shot on target for Madrid and they haven't got long as Alaba is uh, is off as well uh, Luis Diaz not having the most exciting of games, of course. This is the final game of Virgil van Dijk's Liverpool career as well. As uh, Sadio Mane, 
it might be his too. It might be the end for Sadio as well. We'll have to wait and see, of course. I don't. I think I'd like him to stick around, so he probably will do. 15 minutes to go, though, as... Well, it's looking good, isn't it? Right now, we're seeing very little from Madrid. Another goal might just seal it as it goes to the back post. Andy Robertson's there again, as it's an indirect free kick. Oh, from hero to villain. Oh, my God. I can see what's about to happen here, as Andy Robertson has handled the ball with 10 minutes to go. Why on earth he's done that, I don't know. Uh, Lucas Hernandez is going to come on. We'll bring him on for Harvey Elliott, I think. Alfonso will go back to the playmaking role and we'll remove the shadow striker, play Mane as an inside forward again, just for a bit more balance. Trent, I think because we're winning, we'll bring him back. These boys will both play as wing backs on support duties. Um, but goodness me, it's a little bit nervy now. I don't like this at all. I might bring Jordan on actually for Alfonso. Again, experienced head late in the game. You know, 10 minutes to go, and Madrid, I mean, if there's a time for them to smell blood, <laughs> oh dear, that might be right now, as uh, as Gal Galan plays it to Vinicius Jr., back to Camavinga, and if they get one, you'd probably think, if you're a Madrid fan anyway, that there might be a second there as well, some nice patient play from us, oh my word, it could be over, Erling Haaland, 25 yards out, it's blazed over the bar at the end, uh, we'll go cautious as well, let's lower the tempo, take a few fewer risks and let's see if we can knock off one of the most difficult competitions to win in glory hunter i don't think the most difficult i think the world cup of the euros a little bit more difficult but uh, we might have knocked off both european competitions at a very early stage here and again lots to win still when i think about how much there is to win quite scary really that german cup of course still going to spain and france um do i want to lower the lines here I don't think I do really. I think we'll waste as, as much time as possible. Again, five minutes to go or so as we get towards, in, uh, towards injury time. We'll praise them for a final time in the game as there is a highlight. I don't need it if that if that helps. So, oh my God, what have you done there? To Jota of all people. Don't tell me. Oh my, I can't, I can't, I can't believe. Screening, I mean, does he, has he forgotten who he plays for? I can only assume that's what it is. It's illogical. It's towards Van Dyke. Jota's there. He does brilliantly to finish, to be fair. I mean, he takes it oddly. I don't know why he went so fast to the left. But he scored it. And now we are 1-1 with Real Madrid. And I was crowning ourselves European champions. And, and well, now we're not at the moment. So <laughs> that's a bit concerning. <laughs> okay. We're going to go to extra time, are we? With 10 men. Oh, goody. Okay. Well, so what's the back end of that game, by the way? Madrid came massively back into it. I guess I was just hoping we'd hold on. We haven't held on. And I'm going to say, I'm going to really tempt fate. Do not let this slip. Liverpool, the nearly men of Europe. I'm actually going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put Fabinho into the centre or Henderson into the centre, actually. Fabinho, central midfielder on support. Casale is going to stay there as well as uh, I think Mane, do you mind for, or just, just pressing forwards might even work as well. The, the two of them up top together. We've still got the threats that the wide players in fact i'm going to do this i think we want to keep our width here and then keep henderson probably as the playmaker again his passing ability hasn't really waned too much um is his physical attributes there the problem but getting him on the ball finding balls up towards uh, mbappe, mbappe, mbappe mana <laughs> and harland dreaming for a moment there viewers as we go into then the final few moments we'll go back to balanced as well i guess this is the way we do this now uh, do I time waste a little bit? No, I guess not. I guess we just kind of gamble. I'm looking for Haaland. Again, as if it's not obvious. I'm looking for the big dog up front to be the difference maker. We have the second half of extra time. The first half has been and gone. There's not really anything I would change here, if I'm honest. I think we might have one more sub, as there's a highlight. I think you get a fourth sub, right? Um, I mean, I, love, I don't mind Mane being on, but I'm actually not having a good game. Darwin Nunes is coming on. My boy, pressing forward as well. Mane's come on and gone off. I just think Nunes is a more mobile forward at this point. Again, if you're playing a winger, Mane was kind of perfect. We'll encourage five minutes to go. This is going to penalties at this rate. Oh, God. Stop speaking words. Okay, they're on the ball. Vinicius Jr. whipped in, back post. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> what was that? When? Um, 
I don't have a lot of offensive. I don't really have a lot of moves to make. Okay, we'll just go four, th three, four, two. Oh my god. Okay. Um. In fact, forget that. We're losing. We'll just put them forward. I mean, what? What more can you? Okay. I mean, oh, well. Uh. Oh, hello. Hang on. There's a highlight after the goal. We've pushed players forwards. We've still got Erling Haaland on the pitch. It's not over yet, viewers. As Casado to Darwin Nunes, please. Oh no, I thought he'd scored. I thought he'd scored. I thought he'd scored. Darwin Nunes, it's a massive chance. 60 seconds to go. I guess we're going attacking. It's all a bit late now, isn't it? As Courtois. Yeah, I know they've got waste time on. The opposition are doing me. As uh, Galan brings it out, we've got to try and win that ball back, and we're not. And they're forward, and Jota to seal it for Madrid. Oh my word, he's missed it. I mean, we've got one chance. I mean, Alisson's going to have to be quick here. We've got 20 seconds to pump this ball forward, essentially, into Casado, into Trent, towards Nunes. It's not going to do it. It's not the right pass. It's not the right ball. And oh, is that a foul by Henderson? Oh my god, the rebuild. Oh, it's so much worse now as we haven't won it. Are you joking? They've come runners up again. Oh, they've come runners up again. Oh, it's getting painful now. I mean, there's Madrid, your European champions. Oh, this one hurts a bit. It's been a while since we've had one of these. Isn't it? It's been a while since we've had one of these. How big is that goalkeeper's head? Is that Courtois? Massive. Anyway. Oh. Oh, dear. I'm far from pleased. I mean. Oh, dear. I've lost two Champions League finals now. Two. I've just disagreed with every journalist there. I don't know what I thought I was doing. Oh, it was the 92nd minute. I forgot it was so late. 92nd and 119th. Are you joking? Where's Haaland? Where are you, Erling? Where are you, son? Big game, that. I don't know if you noticed. I can't believe it. That's, I mean, let's call it what it is. I said slip as well. I even said, oh, let's tempt fate. That was smart. You prick. Honestly, moron. Oh, so much money. Like it matters. we we'll get some money. I mean, Mick Shepard's coming through. 45 million in the bank, 72. I mean, I'm trying to rebuild on 72 million. If so, I mean, if someone wants to bid 300 for Haaland, I might accept it right now, today, as of right now. So then, season review. I mean, yeah, let's do, let's review, let's review. I, I, I'm just doing the maths now. I've won nothing. Brilliant. Darwin Nunes, they like that. That was good, apparently. Alonso, yeah, like that as well. Suso, a C for, I mean, really? Okay, Adley, Adley's played a big part, to be fair. Um, Moments to remember. I won the Community Shield. So, not part of Glory Hunter, that though, is it? So, let's leave it, I guess. Uh, Carabao, runners up of that as well. FA Cup, semi final defeat. Runner up of the Champions League. Runner up in the Premier League. Runners up. We are the runners up. I am a runner up. Brilliant. That honestly is just great. I feel so good about it. I'm so happy. Can you see where the problem positions were this season? Uh, is it, can you figure it out? I'll, I'll give you a sec Yeah, you got it. Okay, we'll move on then. I mean, let's change the system, apparently. We were one, we were one the lot. We won the game. Everything had worked. And then we got a man sent off. Everything had worked. I thought everything had worked. <laughs> I accept the card. I'm not leaving, I don't think. I don't think that's upon the cards. I've had one season at Liverpool. I've won nothing. I mean, back to Bayern. Have they sat there, manager? Have they won the league? Probably, right? You know, we'll come out next year. We'll win everything. Yeah, we'll win the Champions League. They're annoyed about that. I mean, do you, do you not want to win it? Because that was kind of obvious, actually. Well, it wasn't obvious, but 92nd minute. I don't think we're being unrealistic. I, I'm, I'm so positive and positive. What? Um, goal of the tournament. Fabinho got a good one. Haaland got 18 in 10, because that's what he does. Andy Robertson, defender of the season. I beg to differ. The Haaland striker of the year. Courtois, the best goalkeeper. Oh, piss off. I mean, hang on. I've got. A, I'm sending a message here. Haaland, well done, mate. Well done for being the best forward. Robertson, you can get, you get stuffed. Is what you can do. Get absolutely stuffed. Well, good. Uh, tax bill as well. Oh, it just gets better. Tax bill there, twenty five mil. 
um, again, new commercial summaries, financial services. I mean, the money in the bank's probably just gone up a little bit. Yeah, 142 million now, so we're cruising there. But this team needs sorting out. Virgil van Dijk's last game as a Liverpool player. I mean, that's going to suck for him, isn't it? Let's face it. Runner-up in the Champions League how many times? Deary, deary me. And all of these won that year is the Community Shield. What a way to go out. Right then. I think that concludes, doesn't it? That's the end of that then. Good. Everyone's had fun. Um, yeah, see you in a bit. Bye. We'll be back tomorrow to discuss the rebuild. The rebuild. As if it needs a rebuild. It's just got to the chat. Take care. That's a bottle job. Let's go say what you see. Say what you see.